During the Second World War, the Abwehr, the German intelligence service, was known for having spies all over the world. When it wasn't yet clear if General Francisco Franco, Spain's dictator, would allow German troops on his territory, Gibraltar, which was British territory, was a central and important target for spies from both the British, Germans and the Spaniards. Spain was a crucial secret battleground between the Abwehr and the British Secret Service, especially because of Gibraltar, which was a key British base on the peninsula. After France fell to the Germans in 1940, Wilhelm Canaris travelled to the area of La Linea and Algericas together with the Wehrmacht and Abwehr officers. Due to the General Francisco Franco being in power in Spain ever since the Spanish Civil War, the Spanish chief of police cooperated with the Germans and gave the Germans every facility to spy on Gibraltar and check the intelligence they possessed regarding the defences of the rock, as British Gibraltar was referred to. These defences included tunnels in the mountain itself, which could house up to 20,000 British troops. Regardless, the British considered Gibraltar impregnable and weren't too worried about a German attack or the planning thereof. Well, as you can probably already tell, the Germans even gave the invasion of Gibraltar an official code name, Operation Felix, and they were serious about it. Operation Felix was to come into action once Franco gave the Germans permission to house troops in Spain, which the Germans deemed likely considering they supported his troops during the Spanish Civil War. Picasso created a rather famous painting about that whole ordeal. However, when Canaris and his team of Wehrmacht and Abwehr officers traveled around the rock and inspected its defenses and Spanish infrastructure, they were quick to come back from their ambitious plan. The Spanish roads and railways were abhorrent quality and the Upwear suddenly strongly advised against the operation as it wouldn't be feasible logistically to move troops and equipment towards the front. Some others considered a parachute assault on Gibraltar which they would combine with the Stuka attack, but that plan was abandoned once the Germans realized the Spanish airfields were too small and the only airfield that could handle multiple Stukas was too far away. The only option was to transport heavy artillery towards Gibraltar over Spain's inadequate and old railroad. Eventually, after great expenditure and lots of time and headaches from Canaris, they abandoned the operation. Not because of logistics, but because Franco had decided and made it very clear that he did not want Gibraltar if that meant he would have to give up sovereignty of Spain and become a vassal state of Germany. The Germans weren't able to secure Gibraltar by means of an assault, that much was evident. The next step was to move back onto sabotage and intelligence, using Spanish opera agents for these missions. The British MI5, very much aware of Germany's intelligence officers, proved a worthy opponent though. The largest overseas headquarters of MI5 was housed at Gibraltar, tasked with screening of the influx of Spanish refugees after the Civil War because among them could very well be German spies that wanted to use Gibraltar in order to reach Britain or gather intelligence. Colonel John Fish based Coldrington was in charge of the security of Gibraltar. Both the Spanish and the Germans had an interest in it and so the Gibraltar Special Police GSP was created tasked with checking ships crews entering the port. The 6,000 Spanish workers that entered the dockyard every day and they had to check every refugee. It was a pretty demanding task, but it was necessary. Major H.G. Medlam was head of MI5 headquarters, stationed in the Irish town area, and he cooperated with the SIS Iberian section, as the British were aware that a row of villas in Algeciras across the bay from Gibraltar were used to spy on the ships of the Allied fleet. They weren't wrong, there definitely were Abwehr agents in Gibraltar. Dr. Hans Huberlein, based in Algeciras, was the first Spanish spy for and the local chief of the Abwehr. His real name was José Kei, however Kei was under suspicion as early as 1936 and arrested in 1942. He was shipped to London where he was sentenced to death and hanged for treason. Disregarding the laws, the Abwehr recruited another Spaniard, 
Charles and Nino, loyal to Britain, approached a British security officer, Kirby Green, with a story about a Spaniard, Louis Gordon Cuenca, forcing him to do a job for him, and if he wouldn't, he would hurt Nino's wife. Green told Nino to follow through and stay in touch, and investigated the background. The 27-year-old Spaniard worked at a vegetable shop, and his boss was a Hungarian that was loyal to the British. So this Cuenca Green figured was acting on his own, but further investigation was required. A British secret agent by the name of Bill Adamson suddenly craved vitamins and visited the shop often enough to befriend the Spanish spy. After Cuenca and Danino had agreed to meet, Adamson, in uniform, approached the two and asked what they were doing. Cuenca stated that they were simply watching a game of football, upon which Adamson grabbed him and explained the Spaniard they were watching a game of hockey. Cuenca was taken away and detonators were found in his jacket and explosives hidden in the vegetable store. He was hanged in 1944, whereas Danino was given a medal for the part he played in the arrest. Not a week after Cuenca was arrested, a large explosion shook the port area and shortly after a Spaniard, José Munoz, was spending large amounts of money and quit his job. Enough reason to suspect him. He was arrested and the Secret Service discovered a hidden bomb in a cafe that he had placed. Sentenced to death, he was eventually reprieved. These are just a few interesting tales about spies in Gibraltar. There are many more from all over the world, but that's a story for another time. Thank you for watching this video. And what is an event or a person from the Second World War that you would like to know more about and perhaps see a video of? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time.